Hey everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and in this video I'm going to teach you guys or show you guys how to use the easy mode setting that is on the Samsung Galaxy S7, and it also works on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge as well. So there's a lot of people out there that might be switching from the iPhone to the Samsung Galaxy S7, uh, and they want their phone to be a little bit more basic or easy to use, which I think automatically it already is easy, um, but there is a little bit of a learning curve with Androids sometimes. Um, and then there is also those people out there that just got into a smartphone for the very first time, and so easy mode might be something for you guys to use. And so this is how you'd be able to set it up and use it. So the first thing you do is you pull down the notifications panel, and then you click on the little gear on the very top right-hand side, and that is your settings icon. Underneath the settings icon, what you'll do is you'll scroll on down past that little deeper orange and you go to this lighter orange or yellowish color and you're going to see the option right there for easy mode. Once you click on easy mode, then you'll actually click on that little uh, toggle right up there in the very top for easy mode. And then this is what it will kind of look like. You have three different screens starting off and yes, you can add more. Um, the, the screen on the left hand side is going to be your main 12 contacts that you contact on a daily basis and it's not you know, that, that's the only contacts you can contact. You can contact anybody in your contact list. This just happens to be the main 12th. And then the very middle uh, screen right there is your home screen of the date, the time, uh, and then also the, uh, the main six applications you use mostly on a cell phone on a daily basis. Um, and then on the very right hand side is gonna be the other 11 applications that you use all the time. And then below here, what are these toggles right here? What exactly do these things mean? What they mean is all of these applications um, will be used in easy mode. Now there's some of these that you would like to have the full running application so then you can do all the settings and all the changes and all the features and stuff like that. Example, for the camera right up over there, this one's toggled on and let me toggle it off. Now I am actually able to do every single shooting mode, every single setting, everything I could ever do on the standard mode of the Galaxy S7. Now if you're somebody who wants it to be extremely easy um, and you just want it to be a point and shoot, take a picture, you want an auto or panorama modes, that's pretty much about it, then this is gonna be for you. So what I'll do is I'll show you the differences and I'll keep everything, um, all the settings the exact same. So let's hit on done and then now your cell phone is now placed inside of easy mode. So here's the main screen, this is your main contacts. Uh, you see the edit icon on the very top right hand side. I'll show you exactly what that does here in a second. So that you can make some changes and edits with some of these screens. So these little shadows here, these are referencing to the main 12 contacts that you would contact on a daily basis. And what you do is you click on them and you can call or text them. And then so you just click on one, I'm gonna click on the one on the very top left hand side. And once you choose on any of those little shadows, then you go to create contact or add existing contact. Add existing contact is the contact that's in your list and you just go through the list of all your contacts, select it, and now that person will show up right there on that screen. Extremely easy and convenient. And then let's go to the very last page. This is gonna be um, your main applications that you would use. It actually started off with the top six up there, and I added in the Bible there just so I can show you guys. If you hit on the edit icon, this is where you've got different options you can do with easy mode. So if I want to get rid of an application, you just click on the little uh, minus icon, the little red dash, and then you hit on remove. And also on the very bottom, you notice that there is several other little screens there or little dots. Those represent to have more home screens. So this is where beforehand, back in the day, Samsung only allowed you to have three screens. You couldn't add more than that. And now you can actually add more. So now let's say you are done with that. You made your edits. Um, and here you want to go back in and add another application. So hit on the plus icon, scroll over, and then this is where you'd be able to choose your applications that you would like to have um, right back on there of what you can use. So let's go to the home screen and we hit on edit. So with the home screen here, um, you're not really able to change the date and the time of the weather. That just is very simple and basic and easy, but you are able to change these main contacts or uh, applications on the front page. So what happens if you hit on new screen? All the new screen does is it allows you to have more applications. And that's really it. So this right here, guys, uh, is pretty much what easy mode looks like with all the different home screens. So beforehand, we talked about applications and you uh, have the opportunity of toggling, toggling them on or off. So let's go into the camera. So inside camera, you can see right here, if I hit on mode, I only have two different shooting modes. Um, and then there's really no other settings. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing on the top that I'm able to change and do whatever I want with. Um, and then what we can do now is actually just pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and you can kind of see the settings change a little bit and it shows easy mode right there so that I can get into the settings of easy mode extremely fast. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna to toggle off the camera and then I'm gonna hit done. 
Now let's go back inside of the camera and now you can see I have all the different settings on the very top and I have actually all of my shooting modes so I can do anything and everything I want to with the camera taking full advantage of what this thing can do. This is the number one camera that is in a smartphone today which is March 30th, 2016. And still yet keeping your phone in an easy mode for you. So those are really the settings and all the different edits that you can do. That's the differences between toggling on and toggling off those main applications that you see when you turn it on. Now let's say that you're done and you are graduating from easy mode and you wanna go back into standard, pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon and where it says easy mode, underneath easy mode, you just go right back to standard and then you hit done. And now we're right back into the normal standard mode for the Samsung Galaxy S7. So if this helped you guys out, make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe to this channel here on YouTube. Also, you can follow me on all my social media sites, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, they're all at Jimmy is promo, and I actually play Xbox One as well. Um, I love some I love some Halo, so if you guys want to add me there, again, just Jimmy is promo. So I'll see you guys later.